गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ लीगल मैगजीन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू अनदर मैगजीन कॉल्ड एज कैन यू इमेजिन अ सिचुएशन वेर इन यू आर जस्ट वॉकिंग ऑन अ रोड अ कैजुअल वॉक इन द इवनिंग अ बाइक पासिस बाई यू एंड लिटरली रॉब योर पर्स यू डो नॉट टेक एनी एक्शन यू जस्ट गो होम एंड यू जस्ट डोंट टॉक अबाउट इट टू एनी बडी मैनी ईयर्स पास ओके considering like a good 20 years pass now one day suddenly after many years you think it's a perfect time to file a case against that particular person after many years has passed do you think you can still file a case now this particular maxim states that law only assists those who are vigilant and not who sleeps over their right so there are high chances that nobody will be able to help you now now this particular maxim means that that the law assists those who are vigilant and not those who sleep over their right now this particular maxim belongs to the various branches of law some of which which include land acquisition limitation act criminal procedure law etc now we are going to look into all the branches of this law and the relevance of this maxims to those law the law can only sue other person if the other person has infringed the legal right but he has to file a suit within a prescribed timing If a person does not exercise his right within the limited time period that means he has slept on his right therefore it means that a law can only assist a person when he files a particular suit in the limited time period and if he has not done so that means he has slept on his rights now considering this maxim speaks about the limited period in which a particular case should be filed therefore firstly we are going to look into the limitation act and the relevance of this maxim in limitation act there is a limited time period to enforce if you exceed the limited time period and if you, then you do not have any right to ask the remedy if you don't file an appeal then you have slept over your right and law will not come to rescue you now next let's look into the relevance of this act in crpc this is the criminal procedure code specifically under section 468 no court shall entertain the case after the expiry of the period of application now the time period of this application is 6 months for the punishable for the offence punishable with fine only therefore if x does a particular act against y and y has a right to file the case against x in the limited time period of 6 month now this limitation of period shall be in such a manner Six months if the offence is punishable only with fine. One year if the offence is punishable with imprisonment, not not exceeding more than one year. Three years if the offence is punishable with imprisonment for the term of one year, but not exceeding three years. Further, let's look into the relevance of this section under section four sixty nine. Okay, now this four sixty nine section speaks about the commencement of the period of right. now the limitation period shall commence on the date of the offence or when the commission of an offence was not known to the person aggrieved by the offence or the police officer okay that is the first day okay on which the offence came to the knowledge of such a person or the officer okay or the first day on which the identity of the offender was came to be known the day from which the period is to be computed shall be excluded now in the breach of contract the limitation period to file a case is 3 years the time limit is 3 years after 3 years you cannot file a case that is you have slept over your right example of borrowing the money next let's look into few exceptions to this maxim the first exception to this maxim is condonation of delay meaning the court can condone the delay and still allow the petition when there is insufficient or justiciable cause condonation of delay is the power of court which may or may not be entertained by the court doctrine of latches means latches means delay now let's look into the doctrine of latches now latches mean delay court will apply doctrine of latches if there is a delay the purpose of the maxim is not to defeat the right of a person but to see that the parties do not take the rights which are given to them lightly now another exception is the fundamental right now with regards to fundamental right there is no time limit therefore a fundamental right can be filed at any point of time therefore let's look into the case of now in this case the court held that there cannot be a fixed time 
period for enforcement of fundamental right. But that does not mean that court cannot accept the petition that is fixed. It depends upon the facts and circumstances of the case. The court looks into the nature of violation, rights, manner in which the violation is done and decides whether to entertain the case or not. Let's look into another case of Rudal Shah versus State of Bihar. In this case, a, court was, a case was entertained even after 14 years. Therefore, it can be said that it completely depends on the facts and circumstances if the court allows the particular case to be filed. Okay. But it is very important, if, especially if there is a huge time gap, that the particular case must have a brutal sense of violation in any sense of right or manner. Only then the time limit may be excused. Now that's all for today's video guys. I'll see you around in the next video. Take care. Bye.